Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 11th. Is it the 11th? Yeah, it's the 11th. So let's just see what comes up. This is for somebody. It may or may not be you, right? What do we got for the 11th of March? Now keep in mind the timing is fluid. You know, I did a reading the other day about somebody's going to snap. It was like, what, four or five days ago. I've I'm, I've been receiving comments and emails. Today I had the snap. You know what I mean? I don't know about you, but, uh, you know, timing is fluid. You know, these readings, these dailies, they tend to, to resonate with me sometimes on the day, but usually a couple days later. It's weird how that is, but that's just the way it is. So keep in mind about the timing. You know, you could watch a daily from a few days ago and have it be happening today. Something like that. Queen of Cups. Ready for love, perhaps. I mean, we have somebody here that is emotionally available. Um, has something to offer in her cup. You know, there's something in that cup. And it's in... It's like just, I mean, this. she's pretty happy here. She is. She's pretty happy. She's pretty content. She's ready. Ready for love. Emotional, beautiful, compassionate. At this time, anyway. <laughs> she definitely has love to offer. So we have somebody here that really has some love to offer. But somebody's trying to protect themselves, you know? Looks like there's a storm brewing. See, they're putting up sandbags because, you know, there's going to there's gonna be like a flood. They think there's going to be a flood. They think that, you know, disaster is coming. So they're getting ready to, you know, they're trying to avoid a disaster. So somebody's trying to protect themselves. Huh. Queen of Swords, reverse. Take a look at her. Wow. Ice cold. Ice cold, totally opposite of this Queen of Cups, especially in reverse. I mean, take a look at the, the face. I mean, we got this person will hurt you. She will hurt you. She's very, very, very protective, very guarded, um, resentful, and bitter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the strength card reversed. Somebody. Uh, may not have the strength or the willpower or the courage or the confidence to do something, to take the bull by the horns. Right? I mean, up here, this is the strength. You can take the bull by the horns if you dare. <laughs> if, if you dare. But, uh, you know, somebody may not have the confidence to tame that bull. And look at the steam coming out of that bull's nose. I mean, that's a scary situation. Anyhow, um, somebody may be scared. Somebody may be scared. <laughs> and that's what it looks like to me. Oh, yeah. Somebody may be scared to come off their mouth and, and to let somebody in. Somebody may have been in a period of isolation or a period of solitude or they may have gone through some sort of midlife crisis and, you know, they're pretty comfortable there wherever they've been hiding, you know, and they're pretty comfortable. But now they have this offer of love and it's scary. It's scary. <laughs> That's exactly what this is, too. Somebody is really scared, you know, maybe... They're afraid that this person, you know, even though they're offering love, this person has a lot of anger inside of them. And that does make sense because the Queen of Cups in reverse can see herself as a victim and she can be aggressive. So I think we have, uh, we have, this person's taking on the same energies. 
I feel like we have we have an offer of love here. This seems really good. It seems really compassionate. It seems really loving, you know, and caring. But and it's, what's that? Is that like a that's like the sign of Taurus right there? It is. Interesting. Anyhow, um, we have an offer of love here, but somebody is afraid. This is afraid. <laughs> and I, I don't know. This, this is a Doris, too, the bull. Um, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but that is the sign of Taurus, and that is the truth. That is the sign of Taurus. This is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is Leo and Taurus because of the bull. And this is Virgo. So I don't know. But anyway, it doesn't matter about the signs. It really doesn't. Um, somebody is in fear over coming out of isolation, you know, of letting somebody in. Kind of like putting a barrier up. Somebody is putting a barrier up because maybe they're in. It could be this woman, you know, she has, or it could be the other person, whoever she's offering the love to. Somebody is putting up a barrier to protect themselves from getting hurt. Afraid, afraid to get stomped on, for sure. I don't want to get stomped on by this person who is very aggressive, perhaps. Anyhow, they may see this person as being very aggressive, or they may see that this person has some sort of issues. I'm not sure what these are. Um, anger even. I mean, the Queen of Swords is somebody who is in reverse. Is somebody who is angry and bitter and resentful and doesn't trust at all. There's trust issues for sure. But we have this awakened individual over here who is very wise, who is thinking about going down that path. Thinking about it, for sure. Queen of Wands reversed. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Ten of Pentacles. The world. Oh my goodness gracious. There's a new beginning here. There is. There is a new beginning here. It's it's time to, you know, start over basically. We have uh You see the headband? There's Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio here. Could be anybody, but I'm just saying, um, These are the fixed signs. Now this is an ending. This is a this is a completion. This is a major new beginning. Somebody has learned something. They they finished a a karmic lesson or a life lesson and now it's time to start a new a new phase. But there's fear. There's fear of a new beginning, right? There is fear. There's fear of getting in a commitment. There's fear of getting hurt. There's lack of confidence. There is lack of confidence. Lack of courage, definitely. Somebody is protecting themselves from...
loss. I don't want to I don't want to take this opportunity just to lose it. Really afraid of loss here. But if you see these these grapes on these pentacles, they're ripe. It's the time is ripe. It's it's time. It's time to begin again. It's time to start that next phase. But there's lack of courage. There is lack of courage. Um, but there's an, there is there is love. There's 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 feelings. There's an attraction. There's um, definitely love in the air. What the hell is this? I mean, this is the Princess of Cups. If you look, I mean, what the hell? These are this uh, Taurus again along her dress. I don't understand why the princess, why these cups have Taurus in them. But maybe, I mean, I've never seen anything like that. I'm just, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. Um, <laughs> anyhow, um, this is, this is love. Okay. This is a new offer of love. Um, so yeah, I mean, and it's very, it's, it's like, flirtatious. I think there's a flirtatious flirtatious um, communication coming through with somebody who has a lot of love to offer and you know there's a decision that needs to be made. Are you are you ready? Are you ready to come out of hermit mode? Are you ready to you know have a relationship? Are you ready to get committed? Are you are you ready to face your fears? Are you ready to take this bull by the horns because we absolutely have a bull here, and there is absolutely no doubt about it. We got a bull here, we got a bull here, and we got a bull here. So I don't know what is going on here. But we also have uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio quite a bit. Um, we do have an opportunity to start a... A new, a new chapter, a new phase, a new beginning here. This is a major new beginning. One phase of your life is over, but you're going to have to face your fears about a commitment, you know? So, you know, I really feel like somebody is, is thinking about the opportunity that they are being offered. They probably do feel, you know, a strong connection with whoever this person is. There's a strong connection, but there's the guard is up. Somebody is putting a barrier up because of fear of getting hurt fear because this person's been so hurt in the past so there's a, there's a lot of fear of getting hurt there's there's fear of you know <laughs> getting in a commitment just to lose it you know i just i don't want to get into it just to have it uh, fall away you know i don't i don't so there's definitely fear here definitely with that strength reversed as well there's fear of getting involved with this individual. Um, but there's there's definitely a love connection with the with the Queen of Cups and the and the Prince of Cups. There's definitely a love offer and there's an opportunity for growth. There's an opportunity for love to blossom. But the other person is gonna really have to come out of their cave and step into the light, step into the unknown. So I really feel like there's, there's, there's a lot of fear hindering a love connection. But this could lead to something long-term. This could lead to long-term stability. It could lead to... Um, 
marriage even, something to celebrate. Seriously, there's no doubt. This could lead to a lot of happiness. Extremely happy. This could be permanent. This With this card and this card, this could lead to a permanent... Commitment, okay? It could. This is an opportunity to... Finally be happy. But sometimes fears get in the way. Um, this is a major completion here. A completion of... Maybe even it's a completion of loneliness. Because the Queen of Swords is a is usually lonely. She's independent. She's hard to love. But you see these, these ten, they're completions. And it's right next to her... Maybe it's 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 time to let your guard down, you know? Whatever is meant to be is meant to be. Fear of commitment. Four of Wands, fear of commitment. Four of Wands reversed. Ooh, two of cups reversed. There is. There's there's fear of giving your heart away. There is. Fear of change. I feel like somebody has just ended a phase, perhaps a partnership, perhaps somebody, you know, has literally just ended a partnership. They've just gotten out of a union of some sort. Maybe they've just gotten out of a commitment, right? That phase of their life has ended. One chapter is over. And now they have this new love connection that has probably scared them. You know what I mean? It feels like, you know, this person is was thinking that they were going to take time to heal and go through a period of reflection. But now we got this love connection and... Either you want it or you don't. So I, I really feel like there's an opportunity for love to blossom, for a new relationship to begin. And I think that there's fear. Of loss, right? There's fear of of loss because somebody hasn't really gotten over the last breakup, whatever it is. There's been a breakup here with the Four of Wands reversed, the Two of Cups reversed. There's been some sort of breakup or there's been some sort of partnership that didn't pan out. It's over. It's over. But now, there's also a new beginning here. There's a new beginning. And I think that new beginning is with somebody else. And somebody's putting up a barrier because of fear. If you talk five of cups is on the bottom. Makes a lot of sense. It's like I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. It's like there's a loss here. There's another opportunity. That's exactly what this is. Somebody has been through a loss. Now there's another opportunity and they don't know what to do. I 
I have to tell you that there's a new opportunity. There is a new opportunity here that could lead to something solid and stable and secure. It could. It could lead to something really permanent, seriously. But you're going to have to face your fears. Endings bring new beginnings. Something has recently ended and there's a new beginning looking at you right now. I mean, it's like right in front of you. So I really feel like we have a new beginning here. The choice is yours as to whether you are ready for this new life or not. You have an opportunity to transition into a brand new beginning with somebody else. Whoever this person is, they are very tender, they are very caring, they are very loving. But they may not trust. And that could absolutely be an issue. So, that's what I got. Um, I feel like today is a day of making a decision. Do you continue to concentrate on the loss and grieve the loss? Or do you accept the new offer? You have a major new beginning here with the death card and the world card and these tens. One phase of your life is truly over. It's time. It's time to begin again. Endings bring new beginnings. Whatever has ended, ended because you are meant to start in a new direction. Good luck.